Good morning, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and today is 17th of January 2022. Right now, I am with the 10 Cambridge class, and the subject we are studying is DMATS 4024. We are working on the syllabus, and today we are going to solve exercise 8A from the book D3. The name of the book is New Syllabus Mathematics. 7th edition, book 3. Today, we are working on the chapter number 8. The name of the chapter is Further Trigonometry. And from this chapter, we are today going to solve exercise 8a. The exercise is about the sine and the cosine of obtuse angles. So uh, let's start uh, today's uh, uh, exercise. So I will read the first question. He says, um, express each of the following as a trigonometric ratio of acute angle. So uh, the first question is, uh, what is the meaning of acute angle and the obtuse angle? Acute angle means the angles which are less than 90 degree. They are known as acute angle. And the obtuse angles are those angles which are more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. So they are known as obtuse angles. So angles between 90 and 180, they all are known as obtuse angles. So we will learn the relationship between the acute angles, obtuse angles. We will learn the relationship between their trigonometric ratios sine, cosine, tan values of the acute and obtuse. Okay, so the, the first thing uh, which comes in your path is this. So here, uh, obtuse angle is given, and that's sine 110. And they want you to tell that which acute angle will have the same value as the sine 110. So remember that those angles who are supplementary to each other, uh, supplementary means uh, their sum is 180. For example, the supplement of 110 will be 180 minus 110, that will be 70. So the value of the sine of 110 and the value of its supplement, the sine of its supplement, they both will have the same values. In the form of the formula, we represent it like this, sine theta is equals to sine 180 minus theta. So the, an angle and its supplement. Supplement is that angle uh, which you can, um, if you add that angle into the first angle, you get 180. So they will have the same value of sine. So sine theta is equals to sine 180 minus theta. Sine 110 will be equals to sine its supplement. How you find its supplement? 180 minus 110. So sine 110 will be equals to sine of the 180 minus 110, and that will be sine 70. So, so you can see this is the obtuse angle, its sine value, and this is its supplement, and it's acute, and its sine value. They both will be equal to each other. The formula is sine theta is equal to sine bracket 180 minus theta bracket close. Hopefully you understand, you can check the values on the calculator, the values will be same. Okay, so question number one, B part, sine 176. So 176 is obtuse angle. If you want to uh, know an acute angle whose value will be the same, uh, first of all, I will find 176, what will be its supplement? And how you find the supplement? 180 minus theta, 180 minus 176. And that will be four. So the sine of four will have the same value as the sine 176. Sine 98. In the sine 98, 98 is obtuse angle. If you want to find out an angle which is acute but have the same value, I will find out, first of all, the supplement of the 98. 
The supplement of the 98 will be 180 minus 98, and that will be 82. So sine 82 will have the same value as the sine 98. Okay, cos 99, this is an obtuse angle. In the case of cos, uh, we have to find out first of all its supplement. 99 is obtuse. So I will find what is its supplement. Supplement uh, is 180 minus 99. It will be 81. So the value of the cos 99 will be equals to the value of the cos 81, but with a negative sign. That's the difference between the sign and cos. In the case of cos, cos theta is equals to minus cos 180 minus theta. So the value of the cos 99 will be equals to minus cos 81. Cos 107, 107 is obtuse angle. I want to find out acute angle whose value will be the same. Um, 107, we will find its uh, supplement. So how you find the supplement of a given angle? 180 minus 107, and that will be 73. So the value of the cos 107 will be equals to the negative cos 73. Hopefully you understand. Cause 175, cause 175, 175 is also obtuse angle. Its acute angle will be, whose cause value will be the same, um, will be its supplement, 175 its supplement. So you can find the supplement of 175, how? 180 minus 175. So that will be five. So cos five will have the same value. But how we write it? Cos 175 will be equals to minus cos five. So this is how you will do this question. Okay, so we are going to the question number two. He says, given that sine 32 equals to 0 0.530, and cos 145 equals to minus 0 0.819. When corrected to three significant figures, find the value of each of the following without the use of a calculator. The first question is sine 148. So sine 148 is obtuse angle. So I will find its supplement. So it will be 180 minus 148, and that will be 32. So sine 148 value will be equals to the value of the sine 32. And that value is given in the question. So the answer will be 0 0.530. Question number two, B part. They want you to find out the value of the cos 35. Cos 35 will be equals to minus cause supplement of the 35. Supplement of the 35 means 180 minus 35. So you will have uh, minus cause 145. The cause for 145 value is given in the question. As you can see, it is minus 0 0.819. So minus cause 145 minus bracket minus 0 0.819 minus minus it will become plus so you will have the value 0 0.819 so cos 35 will be equals to minus cos 145 and we know the value of the cos 145 so the final answer will be 0 0.819 so that is question number two question number three given that sine 45 is equals to cos 45 and is equals to 0 0.707. When corrected to three significant figures, find the values of each of the following without the use of calculator. Okay, so here we have the question two cos 45 plus three sine 135. So we don't know sine 135 value, but we know that. Uh, I will find first of all the supplement of the 135. And that will be 180 minus 135, and that will be 45. 
So 2 cos 45 plus 3 sine in the place of sine 135, I can write sine 180 minus 135. So you will have 2 cos 45 plus 3 sine 45. 2 cos 45 value is 0 0.707 plus 3 sine 45 is 0 0.707. So 2, uh, so it will be 5 into 0 0.707. So when you multiply five, you will get 3.535. So up to three significant figures, if I write it, uh, the answer will be 0 0.54. So this is how you will do the question number three, A part, question number three, B part. He says three cos 135 plus four sine 135. So cos 135, I don't know its value, but we know uh, 135, its supplement will be 180 minus 135. So you will have cos 45. So minus 3 cos 45. In the same way, sine 135, it will be, uh, it will be 4 uh, sine 135, its supplement will be 180 minus 135, and that will be sine 45. So you will have plus 4 sine 45. This negative here is due to the formula, okay? So minus three cos 45 is 0 0.707 plus four 0 0.707. This is four times this, this is minus three times this. So you are left with one times 0 0.707. So 7.707 is the final answer. So that is question number three and it's A part, uh, it's B part, sorry. And so let's move to the next part. We're done with the A part, B part. Okay, C part. It's cos 135 minus 2 sine 45. Cos 135, 135, I can write its uh, supplement. So supplement will be 180 minus 135, and that will be 45. So minus cos 180 minus 135 minus cos 45. So this negative here is due to the formula of the cos, okay? So minus two sine 45, it's uh, because we it is given the value of the sine 45, you can see is given in the question, 0 0.707. So we will put just the values. So we will have minus cos 45 and minus two sine 45. So you will have minus 0 0.707 minus two times 0 0.707. So you will have minus three times 0 0.707. And when you multiply three with the 0 0.707, you get minus 2.121. So this is question number three and it's C part. Okay, so question number four. In the figure, A, B, C is a straight line. Angle B, C, D is 90 degree. BC side is six centimeter, CD side is eight centimeter, and the BD is one, sorry, 10 centimeter. Find the value of each of the following. A part is sine ABD. It's a very, very famous question, frequently asked in the Cambridge exam. So they want you to find out the sine of the ABD, this angle. But because this is not a right angle triangle, so I cannot tell directly the answer, but its supplementary angle is this angle. And we have studied that the obtuse angle and its supplementary acute angle, they both have the same sine value. So what I will do, I will find the sine value of this angle, and that will be equals to the sine value of this angle. So the sine ABD is equal to the sine of the DBC, this angle. And you know, sine is uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse, hypotenuse, sorry, eight divided by 10. So when you simplify it, it will be four by five. You cancel it with the two. So this is how you do the question number four and it's A part, okay, the B part. In the B part, it says find the cause DBA cos dba so cos dba is this angle i want to find out its cos and its cos will be equals to the negative of the cos of this 
angle. And the cos is based by hypotenuse. So it will be minus 6 by 10. So we will have minus 3 by 5. So this is how you do the B part. Okay, now we have the minus 3 by 5. We are done with that. Now, the C part is, uh, so what was that? Okay, so I just pasted it two times. Okay, the cos uh, tan of the CBD, the C part is fine, the tan of the CBD, tan of the CBD, CBD is this angle. Its tan will be perpendicular by base. So perpendicular by base will be eight by six, and that will be, if you can it with the table of two, you will get four by three. So this is the, how you do question number four is B and the C part. Fully, you understand? Okay, so question number five is coming up on your screen in the figure QRS is a straight line. The PQR is equals to 90 degree. The angle PQR is equals to 90 degree. The PQ is, suppose that is equals to X and QR is 40 centimeter and the PR is 41 centimeter. Find the value of the X. Okay, so here you have a right angle triangle. And we know the three sides, so I can very easily find the third side. Just apply the Pythagoras theorem. So you can see on your screen, the Pythagoras theorem is showing up. Hypotenuse scale uh, is equals to perpendicular scale plus base scale. So perpendicular is X and the base is 40 and the hypotenuse is 41. So X scale plus 40 scale plus 41 square. So we will have x squared equals to 41 square minus 40 square. You just enter these values in the calculator. So you will have x squared equals to 81. So x will be equals to 9. Okay. Then he says find the sine PRS. You see, he's basically asking you to find out the sine of this angle, PRS. And this is the obtuse angle. Whatever will be, and this angle here, that is the, you know, the supplement of this angle. This is supplement of this angle. So I will find the sign of this, that is perpendicular by, uh, you know, uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse. So X value divided by the, hypotenuse so that will be x is how much nine okay so so the sine of the prs is equals to the sine of the prq and that will be equals to nine by 41 i will find the sine of this angle and that will be equals to the sine of this angle okay then they say Q cos PRS, cos PRS, cos PRS is equals to the its supplementary angle and that is PRQ. So minus cos of the PRQ. So basically he's asking you the cause of this. I will find the cause of this and they both will be equal. Only a negative sign will be added. So it's based by hypotenuse, 40 by 41. So you can see there, cos PRS is equals to minus 40 by 41. Okay. Now question number five, B third part, he says tan PRS. If you want to find out the tan PRS, first of all, tan PRS, PRS is this angle, and I want to find out its tan. Tan value will be perpendicular by base. Tan theta is equals to perpendicular by base. So the perpendicular is x whose value is 9 divided by base. Base is 40. So you will have 9 by 40. 
So question number 5B and its third part, it will be 9 by 40. Okay, question number six is coming up on your screen. He says, find an acute angle whose sine is 0 0.52. So we will suppose that the sine of x is equal to 0 0.52. If I will make that angle x alone, the sine will go on the other side and it will become inverse. So x will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.52. So on your calculator, the system should be set in degrees. So on your calculator, you will write second shift or second function or shift you call it shift button so you will write shift sign and the bracket will start automatically you will write 0 0.52 bracket close equals to and that will give you x value 31.3 31.3 31 so that's the acute angle Question number six and it's B part, 0 0.75. So sine of X is equal to 0 0.75. X is equal to sine inverse, 0 0.75. So X will be equal to 48.6. X will be equal to sine 48.6. Now question number six and it's C part. He says, uh, find the, an acute angle whose uh, sine is, 0.875. So sine x is equals to 0.875. So x will be equals to sine inverse 0.875. And uh, cal your calculator shift sine automatically sine inverse will be written there uh, when you press these buttons. So you will have uh, sine 61. So shift sine 0.875. So it will be 61. Question number six and it's the D part. He says, sine of X is equal to 0 0.3456 and X will be equal to sine inverse 0 0.3456. So X will be equal to 20.2. When you, you find the sine inverse, this will be the value. Now, question number seven says, find an obtuse angle whose sign is. So I have to find here the obtuse angle. Remember, whenever you take sign inverse, the calculator never gives the answer in the obtuse angle. It always tells you, uh, the, the sorry, the, the, the whenever you take sign inverse, the calculator do not tell you the obtuse angle. It only tells you the acute angle. The obtuse angle you manually find by your calculation. So for example, if you have uh, sine x equals 0 0.52, so x will be equals to sine inverse 0 0.52. So x will be equals to, when you do this on the calculator, it will be 31.3. So x will be equals to 180 minus 31.3, and that will be 148.7. So that is question number seven, and it's A part. So now let's do question number seven is B part. Sine of X is equal to 0 0.75. So X will be equal to sine inverse 0 0.75. So when you enter these values in the calculator, second uh, shift and uh, sine 0 0.75 equals to, and that will give you an answer of 48.6. And it is an acute angle, but they want obtuse angle. So from obtuse angle, we will, uh, we will uh, 180 minus 48.6. So that will be the obtuse angle. So 131.4. So this is question number seven. And we are done with the B part. Okay. So question number seven and C part, he says, uh, find an obtuse angle whose sign is, uh, it's 0 0.875. So sine X is equals to 0 0.875. So X will be equals to the sine inverse of 0 0.875. So X will be equals to 61. So that's the acute angle. If you want to find out the both the angles, uh, acute one and the obtuse one. So obtuse, I can find X is equals to 180 minus 61. So X will be equals to 180 minus 61 and that will be 118.96. And so, when you round it off, it will be 119.
Question number seven and it's D part. He says sine of x is equals to 0 0.345, And you know, x will come to the other side, it will become x inverse, sine inverse, that will be sine inverse 0 0.3456. So in your calculator, you will enter shift sine 0 0.3456 and equals to, and that will be 20.2. But this is acute angle. Their question was obtuse angle. So the obtuse angle will be uh, 180 minus 20.2. So it will be almost 159.8. So uh, my dear students, we are done with the question number eight. So let's start the. So uh, sine x is equal to 0 0.875. So x will be equal to sine inverse of 0 0.875. So in your calculator, shift sine 0 0.875 and the calculator will give you 61. So, uh, but the 61 is acute angle. If you want to find out its obtuse angle, whose, whose uh, sine is 0 0.875, uh, manually you have to find that. So whatever the acute answer the calculator has given, 180 minus that angle. So you will have 180 minus 61, and that will give you 118.96. When you round it off, it will be 119. In the same way, sine x is equal to 0 0.3456. So x will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.3456. And the calculator will, when you, in your calculator, you will write shift sine 0 0.3456 equals to the calculator will give you an acute angle and that will be 20.2. So X will be, if the, you want to find out the uh, obtuse angle, the calculator do not give you the obtuse angle when you take sine inverse. The calculator only give you the acute angle. So if you want to find out the obtuse angle, you have to subtract it, uh, the acute angle from the uh, 180. So 180 minus 20.2, and that will give you 159.8. So 159.8 approximately, it will be 160. So uh, that's how you do the question number seven C part. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Question number eight A part. He says, find an acute angle whose cosine is. So we have to find out the acute angle whose cosine is given. So cos of x is given, that is 0 0.67. So the x will be equal to the cos inverse of 0 0.67. So in your calculator, you will enter shift cos 0 0.67 equals to. So it will give you 47.9, which is the acute angle. So in the same way, cos x is equal to 0 0.756. So X will be equal to cause inverse of 0 0.756 and X will be equals to when you enter this value in your calculator, the shift cause 0 0.756 equals to, and that will give you 40.9. So that's question number eight and it's B part, question number eight, C part. Cause X is 0 0.5, so X will be equals to cause inverse of 0 0.5. And when you enter this in your calculator, sh shift cause 0 0.5 equals to, and that will give you 60. In the same way, uh, cause x equals to 0 0.985. So x will be equals to the cause inverse of 0 0.985. So when you enter this value in your calculators, you will write shift, ca uh, shift cause 0 0.985 equals to. And that will give you 9.94. So that was the question number eight. And now we will go to the next question. The next question is question number nine. He says, given that the value of the X is greater than and equals to zero and less than and equals to 180, find the possible values of X for each of the following equations. Okay. So first one is uh, the value of the x is from 0 to 180. So it means we will have to take the both the acute and the obtuse values. So sine x is given, that is 0 0.753. So x will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.753. So when you enter this value in your calculators, you will write shift sine 
zero point seven five three equals to, and the calculator will give you answer forty eight point nine, which is acute. So if you want to find the obtuse of this angle, uh, so then subtract this given uh, calculate uh, given acute value from one eighty. So you will have one eighty minus forty eight point nine. It will give you one thirty one point one. So one thirty one point one and the forty eight point nine. They both have the same values of the sign. Question number nine is B part. He says sine of x is equals to zero point nine five two. So the x will be equals to the sine inverse of zero point five nine zero point nine five two. And in your calculator, you will enter shift sine zero point nine five two. So the x will be equals to seventy two point two, which is acute. We also want the obtuse value. So for obtuse value in the case of the sine inverse, we have to do it manually. It will be one eighty minus seventy two point two, and that will be one o seven point eight. So the obtuse angle is one o seven point eight. So let's do the C part. The sine x is equals to zero point four seven one four. So the x will be the sine inverse of zero point four seven one four. So enter this value in the calculator. You will write uh, shift sine zero point four seven one four. So x will be equals to twenty eight point one, which is acute. The obtuse angle you have to do it manually. So the obtuse angle will be one eighty minus twenty eight point one, and that will be one fifty one point nine. It will be approximately one fifty two. So. Let's move to the next part. Question number nine, and it's D part. He says, cos of x is equals to the minus zero point two three eight. X will be equals to cos inverse uh, minus zero point two three eight. In the case of the cos uh, acute angle or the obtuse angle, the answer will come on calculator. You don't have to worry about it. So shift cos minus zero point two three eight bracket close equals to. And the calculator will tell you the answer. It's one o three point seven seven. In the same way, question number nine and its e part. He says cos of x is equals to minus zero point seven eight three. So the x will be equals to cos inverse minus zero point seven eight three. So enter this value in the calculator. You will get the answer one forty one point five four. In the case of the cos, when you take cos inverse, you don't have to worry. uh whatever acute angle obtuse angle the calculator will automatically tell you the answer so question number 9 e part is done so let's move question 9 f part cos of x is equals to 0.524 so the x will be equals to the cos inverse 0.524 and when you enter this in your calculator you will write shift uh, uh shift cos and automatically cos inverse will be written there Will be written on the screen. Then zero point five to four equals two, and that will give you fifty eight point four. So this is how you do question number nine. Question number ten a part. We have uh, in the figure R. Sorry, in the figure S R Q. S R Q is a straight line. So we're talking about this line. It's a straight line. Okay, and the uh, Try angle PQR. The angle PQR is ninety degree. The PQ is P to Q is eight centimeter, and QR is fifteen centimeter. So that diagram I have already shown there. Find the value of each of the following. The first question is what is the value of the sine PRS? If you want to find out the value of the sine PRS, they are talking about this angle, but this is not a right angle triangle. So it's it's acute, it's obtuse angle. So this is its supplementary acute angle. So whatever is the sine of this, same is the sine of this here. The sine of this will be the perpendicular by the hypotenuse. So, but you know the hypotenuse is was not given here. So I will apply the Pythagoras. This is the base. This is the perpendicular. This will be the hypotenuse. So P R square will be equal to 15 square plus 8 square, and that will be 289. 
So I will take the square root on both the sides. So the PR will be equals to 17. So I now I know the three sides here. And the sine of this angle and the, sorry. Sine of this angle and sine of this angle, they both will be same. So you will have sine of the PRQ will be equals to the perpendicular by hypotenuse. So that will be eight by 17. And whatever is the sine value of this, sine value of this angle will be the same. And that's the, so the sine of the PRS will be equals to the sine of the PRQ and that will be eight by 17. So question number 10, it's A part. So cause of the SRP. So cause of the SRP. So let me show you. So I want to find out the SRP is this angle. I want to find out the cause of this. And you know, this will be equal to the cause of this. Okay, so because they are supplementary, so their cause values will be same. You know, the cause is based by hypotenuse. Base is this, based by hypotenuse. So it will be uh, 15 by 17. Based by hypotenuse. Yeah, you're right. And a minus is also introduced here. Now, the third uh, part, question number 10 in the C part is, he says, find the value of the 10 PRQ. Let me show you. 10 PRQ. So they are trying to find out the tan of this. So tan, you know, is uh, perpendicular by base. Tan is perpendicular by base, 8 by 15. So the tan of the PRQ will be equal to 8 by 15. So that is question number 10, B and the C part. Okay, so it's over. Question number 11. On your screen, the question number 11 is showing up. It says the figure shows triangle ABC with the vertices A, A the vertices of A are minus 2, 4, B, uh, whose vertices are 2, 1, and C, whose vertices are 6, 1. Find the values of the each of the following. So the first part is sine ABC. You see the sine ABC is this angle this a b c they want this angle so whatever will be the sign of this same will be the sign of this so because this is the right angle, i can find out the sign of this so it's three four and this uh, a b is five you can find you can see here i have found it so a b whole square will be equals to four square plus three square and a b will be equals to and a b whole square will be 25 so the a b will be five so the sine ABC, so the sine of this, because this is a right angle. So the sine of this will be equals to the sine of this, this angle ABC. So the sine ABC will be equals to, uh, the sine of this will be perpendicular by hypotenuse, three by five. So three by five will be the answer. So this is question number, 11, it's A part. Okay, question number 11, it's B part. It says cause of ABC. So if you want to find out the cause of uh, this, uh, so that whatever the cause of this, same will be the cause of this ABC, but with the negative sign. So cause of this angle will be uh, base by hypotenuse. So it will be four by five. So the cause of ABC will be equals to the minus cause of ABD and that will be minus four by five. Minus four by five. So now uh, the C part, he says, find the value of the tan P, uh, sorry, the tan ACB, tan ACB, tan ACB. The tan ACB is this, this angle, okay? Tan, tan ACB. So this big one is also a 
you know it is also a right angle triangle so i want to find out the tan acb the tan acb you know it's a right angle triangle how much is this it is 3 okay and how much is this b to c you can count 2 to 6 so it will be 4 and how much is this from minus 2 to 2 it will be 4 so 4 4 8 so this thing will be 8 and this will be 3 so uh tan acb is perpendicular by base so the perpendicular will be 3 and the base will be this whole thing and we can count it from two to six, it will be four, 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 eight. So three by eight. Three by eight is the answer. So this is how you do question number 11. Question number 12. Uh, the figure shows A, B, C uh, with the vertices A, which is 14,2. B, which is 2, comma, minus 3, and C, which is minus 13, comma, minus 3. So, first of all, I will try to find out uh, this hypotenuse here. So, it will be 12 square plus 5 square, and it will be 169, and it's under root. If you take the square root of the A, B, it will give you 13. So the AB is basically 13. So their first question is, sorry. The first question is, find the sine ABC. So basically they are trying to find out the sine of this, but I don't know this value, but I can tell the sine of this. So they both will have the same values. So the sine of this, this angle, Sign is basically, uh, you know, perpendicular by hypotenuse. So it will be 5 by 13. So sign ABC will be equal to the, uh, actually I'm trying to find the sign of this angle. But whatever is the sign of this, same is the sign here. So uh, sign ABC will be equal to the sign ABD. And that will be 5 by 13. Perpendicular by hypotenuse, 5 by 13. So the B part is they want you to find out the cause ABC. So you want to find the cause ABC is this angle. The cause of this will be equal to the cause of this. And that will be based by hypotenuse. And that will be 12 by 13. And we will put ourselves a negative with it. So minus 12 by 13. Minus 12 by 13. So C part. He says find the tan ACB. The tan ACB. So they are talking about this tan. So from these grids, I can tell what is the distance between A and B. So it's 15 here. You can see from minus 13 to 2. So it's 15 here, 12 here. And this height is 5. So uh, tan ACB, tan ACB will be 5 by 5 by 27, this whole thing. 12 plus 15, that will be 27. So you will have tan ACB is equals to tan ACB equals to 5 by 27. So that is question number 12. Okay, so let's move to the next part. The next part is question number 13. He says, given that sine X equals to sine 27, where x is greater than 0 and less than 180. So write down the possible values of x. So it is given that the sine of x is equal to sine 27. So it means sine theta is equal to sine of 180 minus theta. That is the formula. So sine 27 will be equal to the sine 180 minus 27. So sine 27 will be equal to sine uh, of 153. So now the x is equal to 153, it means. 
So we were looking for the X values, which are from zero to 180. So that is how you do question number 13. Question number 14 is showing up on the screen. He says that given that, that the X value is greater than zero and less than 180, find the possible values of X for each of the following equation. So sine of X plus 10 will be equals to 0 0.47. It is given. And cause of one, uh, the cause formula, I think I have not written. So the cause of uh, x minus 10 will be equals to minus 0 0.56. So find the possible values of uh, x for each of the following equations. So you will have uh, the first equation given is sine of x plus 10 is equal to 0 0.47. So sine will go to the other side. So you will have sine inverse of 0 0.47. So sine inverse of 0 0.47, that will be 28. And its uh, obtuse value will be 180 minus 28. So sine x plus 10 is equal to 28. So x will be equal to 28 minus 10. And that will be 18. And in the same way, I can write x minus x plus 10 is equals to 152, and uh, x will be equals to 152 minus 10. So x will be equals to 142. So this is question number 14, and it's A part. Now we are on the question number 14, B part. He says, cause of uh, x minus 10 is equals to minus 0 0.56. So I will take the x, to, uh, so cause to the other side, so it will become cause inverse. So you will have x minus 10 equals to cause inverse of minus 0 0.56. So x minus 10 equals to one, cause inverse. If you try to do this shift cause minus 0 0.56 equals to. So now you have taken longer time. So uh, cause inverse of minus 0 0.56 will be uh, 124. So x minus 10 is equal to 124. So x minus 10 equals to 124. So x will be equals to 124 plus 10. So x will be equals to 134. So this is uh, the last part. And so my dear students, we are done the exercise 8A, the exercise 8B, 8C, 8D, and the rest of the exercises. I will do them and I will upload them. Some of them I have already uploaded. You can find them in the playlist. So um, I hope this is enough for today. And today we have solved exercise 8A from the D3 New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition. And the name of the chapter is Further Trigonometry. Already I have solved this question. They are in my YouTube. But today we have worked on the exercise 8A. So it's a great pleasure for me to teach you mathematics online. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. God bless you all.